Hi, today I'm going to be, uh, well, I'm an amateur, and I have uh, never done this, uh, you know, professionally, but I'm going to put on gel polish. Uh, this is Emily, or Emily, uh, Prada, and you can get it on Instagram, uh, not Instagram, um, Amazon, and it comes in a large packet, and you can get extra... Uh, big large packs of several different colors or just uh, one in particular today I'm going to be using the uh, looks like it's 016 it's a pretty um, glittery color and uh, to work your way to the beginning you have to have a top coat and a base coat to gel as it were I love this because it has a no wipe top coat so that when you put it on and cure you are done one and done and you, you will need a uh, LED cure uh, light lamp and this was also purchased on uh, Amazon a professional gel polish UV LED nail dryer lamp I have it plugged in and ready to go now, what is awesome about this Amelie is that on the back of the package is all the instructions on what you have to do. So, you just take out your product, you uh, turn over the box, and follow directions. It's not hard at all. So, our preparation is to make sure that the nails are clean and that they are buffed and polished. And uh, I mean, not buffed and polished, but um, buffed out, clean, and with a little... Um, you know a little rough on the edges so that uh, the product will stick I just use a generic uh, uh, nail polish remover acetone you can use um, alcohol or uh, uh, regular nail polish but just make sure that your nails are free of any oils or dust and uh, after you use a file to just to rough off the top a little bit then just clean them off with your nail polish remover or alcohol acetone and push back all your cuticles make sure that your nails are in proper care so that your polish will look its best I have previously often I just use my fingernail to do that or just a product tool and uh, to, I don't have a whole lot of problems with mine some people do I don't have hardly any issue with a uh, cuticle so after they're cleaned up you're ready to go so what I'm going to do is after I uh, trim and filed my nails and shake them and clean them of course we are going to apply a thin layer of the base coat and put it under the LE uh, either a UV lamp for a minute or the LED light for 30 seconds mine is happily only 30 seconds but I will start by preparing yes I go backwards I do my thumb first because I'm just weird that way I suppose professionals like to do your pinky first but I think that's because they're on the other side <laughs> I'm doing it from straight on make sure you get your whole nail and the tips of your fingernails so that it seals in do your best not to get any of the polish onto your fingers your skin or too far down in your cuticle of course or you won't get a proper seal and your polish will lift after a few days of washing your hands and bathing and whatnot so here we have our base layer and we're going to stick it under here for 30 seconds and let it cure i don't know if you i don't think y'all can see that but i think you understand the post the uh premise of these lamps they're extremely uh they take less time than anything but you can see I did my whole hand, my yeah, all five fingers, and the lamp actually goes all the way around 
and will cure thumb to pinky in just 30 seconds so we can get started on a uh, color here we are so here we got uh, my UV LED shell polish hoping that's coming in alright in the 016 it's kind of a rose gold color. I really kind of, I've never worn it before, so this is new for me. It's very pretty. Let's see. You can see me. I'll start out in the middle until I see how much product is there. And then move down to where the cuticle is. Straight down through the middle and then onto the sides to make sure full nail is coated. Now you go through all of your fingers doing your best to stay away from the cuticle and the skin and not too close to your LD LED light to turn it on. Oops. Oh, give me a second there. Alright. I have my arm in the way and these things are very, very uh, sensitive to present. They turn on which is kind of nice and kind of a pain in the butt at the same time. Okay, here we go. We're going to go to the next one. I like how the uh, how smoothly it goes on. Lovely. This lamp is giving me a pain. Alright. If there's no issue when you're trying to do a video, then um, you're not doing a video right, right? Alright. And we'll move forward to the next one. And this is a very light finish, so I'm probably going to do a second coat uh, to get a little more coverage. I prefer a little, a little bit thicker, lovely coverage so that you can't see my nails. Some people enjoy the uh, transparency of nail polish. I do not. Unless, of course, I'm having a French manicure, then I do like it. See? Lovely. Sparkly. We're going to stick it under here. It says, apply your color coat, a thin layer, and insert your hand into your lamp for 30 to 60 seconds, and the UV for 2 minutes. Like I said, mine is lovely. Lovely. You, what is it? UV, what did I say? LED. I'm so irritated with this thing. Now I've got to plug it in. Again, I think I need to set this up a little further from from home here, as it were. Make sure I didn't screw up my nail polish terribly. Nope, can't tell. So, here we go. 60 seconds. Now, as I was discussing before, I had issues with my lamp. You can cure uh, just four fingers at a time, like this, and then do the old fashion stick your finger your thumb in thumbs and do them separately but as I said with this lamp I really like the fact that it is curved concave and you can stick your whole hand in and the curvature will get your thumb and you can do a whole your whole hand at once this is uh, we're gonna be at a minute and 30 seconds and have a single layer of coat uh, paint so that's uh, pretty quick to me. I I like the fact that I can do it quickly. As a parent and a, um, well, a fur baby owner, sometimes doing this is uh, cringe, as it were. And the, the children, furry or not, will just totally screw up any nail paint job that isn't uh, cured very quickly because of fur or Mommy, I need this, and Mommy, I need that. So we're going to do a second coat, that quickly. But carefully. Okay. And don't forget to seal your ends. If you're like me, I'm very hard on my fingernails with my hands. I'm always doing something, and I break them very easily. Now, right now, they actually are a decent length, and they're all the same length. 
and I'm going to attribute that to using gel polish. See, they're all about the same length. I have awful luck with my fingernails. One is always cracked or sheared to the quick, and it makes me angry. But uh, I have found that gel nail polish really helps me to uh, grow my fingernails out and for them to look lovely for a lot longer. All right, we have put our second coat and we're going to put it on for 60 seconds because I want it to make sure that it's set up really good. Now it says that you can put it in for 30 seconds or 30 to 60 with the LED lamp. Now if you have an old fashioned UV lamp, it's gonna take up to two minutes per coat to set it up. Now it said to uh, apply a second coat on the back of the box and insert your hand into the LED light for the same amount of time and same for the UV so per coat you will have to use the same amount of time now on this second coat I'm feeling a little heat so there's that I wanted you to know about that uh, the uh, sets when you purchase the sets the top coat and uh, the uh, base coat come together in a small box and uh, you will purchase the color separately but Amy Lee makes all to go together or I'm, I'm quite sure you can probably use them with other products as well here they are I think I'm very pleased with that I, I like that that's very nice yeah all right now we're going to do the top coat now it says this top coat is that you you apply a thin layer and put it into your lamp for 30 to 60 seconds and if you're using the UV lamp you're going to put it in for another two minutes uh, you don't have to wipe it off uh, when we put it on it won't be sticky now if you use the uh, it says here that the Amelie can be used with a wipe you know wipe off top coat the old-fashioned uh, sticky and I'll tell you about that in just a minute now with the top coat you want to be very careful to seal all of your color this is what's going to keep your nails looking beautiful and shiny and sealed so be sure you get all the edges and if you have long nails when you get on there be sure you go all the way and get the sides of your nail doing your best not to get the skin now if you do get the skin you might feel a little heat in the lamp when you're curing but and it's just a little bit of a pain in the behind to get off your skin after you cure but it will come off and not going you know it'll just be a pain in the butt it's not going to hurt or damage you in any way permanently so here we've got our top coat and we're going to put it in here for 60 seconds to cure it up now as i was talking before, while i was putting on the, the uh, top coat the uh, box says that uh, after you do the uh, the curing for the wipe off top coat after you're finished you'll uh, wipe off the sticky layer with a nail cleanser or sterile alcohol just like you did when you were fixing up your nails to begin um, after uh, with this the uh, no wipe top coat you can just uh, bring your nails out from under the lamp when it's finished and go on about your merry way so there's no issue with that now for removing that is a whole other deal everybody knows you gotta soak your nails in acetone forever to get your gel polish to get off well I have found something that will work for that and doesn't take nearly as long completely done no sticky residue and take a look shiny glittery like they're wet 
And look how simple that was. It went very quickly. Now for any that you happen to get around your skin, you just take your uh, nail polish, or your, your uh, nail file, get under there and just trim it up and wash your hands. Um, treat your cuticles, put on a little, a little uh, hand lotion and you're good to go. Now, uh, just to let you know, if you've seen this product, I don't know if you have, but if you haven't, I'm going to show it to you. This is how I get it off. Can you see that? This stuff is bomb. It's nasty, uh, but it comes on a, 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 a brush, just like you get polish. And you take and you put a nasty thick layer of this stuff on each nail and you let it set for about five minutes and you uh, wipe some off what if you use glitter polish uh, you will usually have to do it a second time so after you uh, wipe the first layer off you'll reapply and wait another five minutes and then use a removal tool to scrape a little but you don't even really need to scrape at all I just use my I, I was able to use my fingernail and just push it right off after uh, the second use and so that saved uh, an hour worth of uh, worrying with uh, acetone soak so it took me 10 minutes and uh, a very small amount of elbow grease and my nails came out it's clean. This is this is it. This was after. You can see I just had a little left on my pinky, which can be filed off quickly and easily without any extra no no damage. There's a little here, and you can get all you you know you can get that off with just a nail file. But this is what I have what I got after the second application of this Oliver Professional Magic Remover, and. Uh, it saved so much time and there was no damage no damage no dryness no nothing so I completely recommend these products uh, they stay for uh, nice for at least a week to ten days uh, if you care greatly for your hands and fingernails uh, I think that it would last for two weeks so thank you for watching and I hope that I uh, helped you decide to try this out uh, leave me a comment and uh, let me know what uh, you know what luck you have with this product and how easy simple easy it is to follow thank you very much